we are going to analyze the carburetors and there are two types of the analysis is there one is called as a approximate and second is called as a exact so just i am preparing the figure and then we start with the uh, analysis of the carburetor Approximate analysis is that we have the two different assumptions is that one, the density of air is remains a constant so that the density at, of air at section one and density of air at section two are equal and which is equal to the density of air. And second thing, we assume that velocity of air at the inlet of the carburetor means that section one is zero. So these are the two assumptions. Students, so here we have the two different fluids. One is a fuel and second one is air. So that we have some parameters. Z we are taking, that is the height of possibility. Then V1 and V2 are the velocity. P1 and P2 are the pressure at section 1 and 2. Then MA and MF is the mass flow rate. Then CBA and CBF. That is a coefficient of discharge of venturi for air and fuels. Then AF is area cross-sectional area of fuel nozzle a2 is the cross-sectional area of venturi at throat then d is the diameter of venturi at throat g is the gravitational acceleration so to this now we are applying the steady flow energy equations or we can say the Bernoulli equations for the air at section 1 and 2. So let me just try that. So we know that the P1 upon rho A1 plus V1 square by 2 equals to P2 by rho A2 plus V2 square by now we have two assumptions that rho A equals to rho A2 equals to rho A as well as V1 equals to 0. So we apply these conditions in the Bernoulli's equation. So we get P1 by rho A1 equals to P2 by rho A. We just write as a rho A, not rho A1 plus v2 square by 2 and if we make the subject then v2 equals to 2 into bracket p1 minus p2 divided by rho a in the square root now students we calculate the mass flow rate of air so which is indicated m a equals to rho a v2 a2 into cda that is a coefficient of discharge at venturi so we get a2 cda rho a in the bracket we get 2 
P1 minus P2 divided by rho A. Now this rho A is uh, we have inserted in this square root, so it becomes a rho A square, and then rho A rho A is cancelled out. So finally, our expression for n A is becomes A2 C D A under root of 2 rho A in the bracket P1 minus P2, or we can write as a delta P. Now similarly we apply the Bernoulli's equation so we get P1 now density of fuel is there instead of the air plus V1 square we already have assumed that V1 is 0 so we just write equals to I'm eliminating one step so I just write directly P1 by rho f equals to p2 by rho f plus p2 square by 2 plus students we know that there is the height difference between the nozzle and tip so that we consider as a z and the gravitational acceleration is associated with that so z z is there now we make the subject this v is indicating as a vf so vf equals to we got 2 in the bracket P1 minus P2 minus sad G into rho F divided by rho F which is in the square root. So now we calculate the mass flow rate of fuel so which is indicated by MF which is equals to area for the fuel, area of nozzle, then density of fuel then velocity of fuel into CDF that is a coefficient of discharge so we get AF into CDF rho A is multiplied inside this bracket and we put down the value of VF so finally we get square root of 2 rho F in the bracket P1 minus P2 minus ZG into rho F so this is our expression for mass flow rate of fuels. So students, we get the two important expression. One is of mass flow rate of air. This is the one. And second is mass flow rate of the fuel. So from these two expressions, we calculate the air fuel ratio. So in next slides, I'm going to write air fuel ratio. It is MA upon MF. So we just put down the value. Here it is A2, then CDA under root of 2 rho A P1 minus P2. Then divide by AF into CDF into square root of 2 rho F P1 minus P2 minus rho F Z, Z. Now we separate it out using the different terms. So it is A2 by AF into CDA divided by CDF square root of density. 2, 2 is cancelled out. So rho A upon rho F. In another bracket, we have this delta P divided by delta P minus Z g rho f and if we are neglecting this z if we neglect the z and we consider the height of the tip of nozzle as zero then our final expression we get this is a2 by af into cda divided by cdf into square root of rho a upon rho f so this is the expression for air fuel ratio in the symbol calculators for approximate analysis.